school. In the Shinjuku area of Tokyo, Takeshi Kitano took a bend too fast on a steep road and crashed the scooter he was riding into a central barrier. The accident shocked the nation. I felt that Sonatin showed he was tired of living or had some dilemma about living. I like the film a lot because in real life there are few of us who are sad with our lives. I could see some sort of frustration in him. Many creative people and artists have this problem and I felt he had it. There was a sense of danger about him, and then he had his accident. I wonder whether I should say this, but I think that accident was destined to happen. It came just after we completed post-production of a comedy we made called Getting Any. During the making of this film, we began to be concerned that Takeshi was beginning to lose his mental balance. He would say things he doesn't usually say and had never said before in all the years that we'd been working together. I used to say something would happen. And then that accident happened. Suffering a brain contusion and fractures to the skull and right cheekbone, Kitano was taken to the intensive care unit of a local hospital, where he lay critically ill for over a month. I knew he'd had a terrible accident. I, d I didn't know the extent of the injuries, but yes, I, it was quite, quite a shock to see how much facial damage he'd had. Since the accident, my outlook on life and lifestyle have become more refined. And I wonder if that's a good thing. It may be better to be a bit rough around the edges. Sometimes I feel I may have softened up and lost confidence. But my health has now recovered, so I wonder if I return to what I used to be. You know there's a saying, you can't cure an idiot unless he dies. <laughs> and I've really come to understand the meaning of that. <laughs> Turning near tragedy to artistic triumph, the director's brush with death inspired his most critically acclaimed film to date, Hannah B. In Kitano's hands, a simple tale of cops and yakuza became a zen-like meditation on loyalty and honor, love and death. I think what struck critics about, about Hanabi was that it was pushing for a new emotional expressiveness in his work. And it was a particularly kind of daring expressiveness because he's famous for being a funny, hard-edged, hip filmmaker. And here he was making a story in which at the very center of the story is a man worrying about his dying wife. And he plays it very emotionally. And I think critics were, very, were actually impressed by his daring in doing that because it suggested that having made a few films, he was now going to reach out and go for broader and broader themes and ideas. And I think that everyone liked that about him because he broke his own mold, which is always a good thing for a filmmaker to do. Arigato. Hannah B. went on to win the Golden Lion at the 1997 Venice Film Festival and became the most financially successful of its films to date. It also introduced audiences to a surprising new talent the accomplished actor, writer, had discovered while recovering from his accident. 
I thought with that sort of accident, there might be a change in my outlook on life, a change in my lifestyle, but maybe not. If you bump your head, you'd expect something to happen in the brain. Perhaps some hidden genius will emerge. Hoping this was true, I started to paint. Kitano's paintings are a prominent feature in Hanabi. But they are more than just set dressing. Like the film itself, his art reflects on the pain of living and the difficulties of human communication. When he is trying to do something with images, even if by films or by uh, paintings, he is trying to do something utterly different from his uh, comedian's activity. So I feel some kind of stillness in his picture because there is no sound. Uh, for example, a little boy looking up the sky and there is a fireworks in the night sky, but we cannot hear any sound of fireworks. The quietness and stillness is essential point with very bright colors and a little bit nostalgic taste. I met a woman who said she was a fan of mine and gave me an angel. She said she was very concerned about my health. After that, I became more aware of the angel figure, and I realized I had lots of angels at home that people had given me. Kitano's own guardian angels watched over him as brother neared the end of filming in the desert, just outside Los Angeles. But while all involved hope brother will broaden Kitano's appeal still further, questions remain about the director having to compromise his unique style of filmmaking in order to appeal to the mainstream movie audience. I pick again. Well, I frankly think that Kitano will probably have a very hard time ever becoming a huge international success. I think that his vision of the world and his style is so distinctive and kind of art filmy in a way that I'm not sure it'll ever reach the mass audience. All right, here's how it works. Five of these strings are attached to the trigger. Now you get to choose three. If none of them pull, we'll let you go. All right, you choose one. Fifth one. <laughs> the new film, you know, for instance, could be something like the Jackie Chan, Chris Tucker film, Rush Hour. But what one knows from Kitano is that it won't have a lot of those crowd-pleasing elements. There won't be a lot of shtick, there won't be a lot of broad jokes, there won't be lots of people falling down stories and stories and stories in, in tall buildings. So I think what's going to happen with Kitano is he'll be trying to broaden his international audience, and I'm sure he will do that, but I don't see him ever becoming a big international star. So for that reason, I think he probably won't be corrupted by it. He often says, I won't let anyone pigeonhole me. His films are also like that. When you see one film, you can't imagine what the next is going to be. So he thinks that he won't be really understood until the very end of his career.
絵のようなその His films are like a painting. It's not just about what you can see, it's a symbol. If you watch his films, you have to use your own imagination, otherwise, you can't really appreciate them. But if you're looking for something in them, you will discover many things. So, they are films that make you think. I'm just doing something I'm interested in because I like it. Filmmaking might be a career for some people, but it's really not for me. I like doing it. I'm not employed to make a film. I'm just making a film. It's fun. So it's not hard. It's a pleasure.